was he Frank driving? Pitt. He's right there in the black truck. As long as he stays out there and he does what he's been do what he's doing now, he's fine. Get in your vehicle and leave and don't come back. Hey, well, I'm from this truck place. I pay for my service. Let's go. Hey. We well, tell you to do something, you do it. Uh, when you bow up to the police, I didn't bow up. what happened? Welcome back to the Lackluster Channel. Today's story begins on March 15th of 2018 in Laurel, Mississippi. Mikhail Ducksworth took his children to the Rainforest Car Wash to clean his truck. An employee of the car wash called the Laurel City Police Department and requested that they respond to the scene after a dispute, reporting that the man had warrants. The car wash usually has patrons wash their vehicles first and vacuum second, but Mr. Ducksworth insisted on vacuuming first. Mr. Ducksworth had apologized to the employee for his demeanor prior to the officer's arrival. Once they were on scene, there was no longer a disturbance and had confirmed that it was not the man with warrants. The employee tells the officers that he was okay to be on the property and to continue his business. And then he's like, well, I'll just go to the effing house and wash and vacuum my truck out. And I was like, okay, well, that's, you're right. And then he just flies to the car wash. And now he's over there and he apologized for being an ass and everything else. And I'm like, it didn't take all that. You don't have to be an ass. They would let him vacuum his car before he washed it. Is he in that, uh... I told her, I was uh, like, my God, I, it took all the blue, him. Yeah, in the blue, whatever it is. I think that was him uh, leaving. What was he Frank driving? Pitt. He's right there in the black truck. Oh, black truck. He's still on the property. Oh, well, you want him to leave? As long as he stays out there and he does what he's been do what he's doing now, he's fine. But like I told him, there was no need in him getting out, getting, no, uh, doing all that crap. With the information they've been given, the call for service should have been terminated. Instead, the four officers approach Mr. Ducksworth and order him to leave the property, despite the lack of their lawful authority to do so. Sorry, sir. Yeah, talk to him, find out what's going on. Hey, man. Uh, Broward, Broward, eight, 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 Adam Hall, 914, AP 914, what's the name? I told her on my statement, I've been in this car while I'm doing bad time, ain't nobody never stop me. You call the Ken and Rise over here, they're my data, so hey, we on the floor, I ain't trying to get nobody for sick, but hey, I just ain't the guy that gonna take no shit, I'm gonna be real with you. I don't need folks out, so hey, I'm gonna ask me. Are we harassing oh, we ain't you? I'm just saying. You y'all come up all behind and all that. I mean, what, what, how we gonna handle this situation? Okay. What would y'all like to do? Well, I mean, how may I help y'all? I mean, she just I, I seen on the phone call the police. You know what I'm saying? I apologize to the young lady, but I see a young man. He ain't go through the car wash hell. He pulled his in there. Well, get in your vehicle and leave and don't come back. Hey, well, I'm banned from this truck place. Out I paid for my service. Buddy. Let's go hey. right now. I paid for my service, buddy. I already paid for my service, hey. man. I'm gonna back on my truck out. You done caused enough problem up here? No, I ain't you can go. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna finish my service. I'm telling I'm you what you're gonna do. I'm gonna put your hands on me, bro. I'm gonna put your hands on what me, man. What you gonna do with your hands on your back? Nah, man. Turn around, put, put your hands, hands behind your back. back. Nah, man. Put your hands behind your back. I'm gonna get in my truck and leave, bro. Put your hands behind your back. What's the What's the night, man? Stay, stay, stay. man. Despite not having a reason to tell Mr. Ducksworth to leave, and having consent for his presence made clear to them from the employee, the officers order him to leave. Initially, he tells them that since he has already paid, he was going to use their services. That was until Defendant Landrum escalates the encounter further by drawing his taser. At that point, under the threat of violence, Mr. Ducksworth agrees to leave, but instead of allowing him to obey their unlawful commands, they tase him multiple times and batter him in front of his children. The problem can be pinpointed by one officer's words. We tell you to do something, you do it. I understand. I don't care who you understand. think you are. This officer believed at this point in time that if they tell you to do something, you do it, no matter who you think you are, and regardless of their legal, ethical, or moral right to command you to act. I'm just saying, man, that was unnecessary, man. Y'all come over here and do me like that, man. All you gotta do is what we ask, man. I'm just saying, bro, I, I can't finish my service. When you bow your head, when you bow up to the police, I didn't bow up. What happened? I didn't bow up, man, time. 
The officer now tries to justify their violence on an innocent man by claiming that Mr. Ducksworth bowed up on the police. One even claimed that he was hit by Mr. Ducksworth, though that is not seen on the body cam footage. Yeah, yeah, I man. Hit me right in the face. Huh? Hit me right there. He got to shoot the man. Yeah, with his elbow. The video never shows Mr. Ducksworth acting aggressively. The initiation of force came from the officers and does not appear to have been met with any resistance. Remember that Mr. Ducksworth had permission to be on the property, and not a single officer intervened to end the unlawful use of force. I think they're tasting him. <laughs> yeah, he bowed up at me, man. How'd that bow up at you, man? I put my hands up. Take the phone call. The video ends there as the officers decide to talk off the record about how to charge Mr. Ducksworth. He was subsequently arrested for disorderly conduct and resisting arrest. During his trial, Defendant Landrum admitted that his sworn affidavit in support of the charges was not truthful. Mr. Ducksworth was found not guilty on all counts by the Jones County Court. Over two years later, Mr. Ducksworth filed a 1983 lawsuit against four officers in their individual and official capacity, as well as the city of of Laurel for 4th and 14th Amendment violations for unlawful seizure and false imprisonment, excessive force, equal protections, race discrimination, violations of his First Amendment rights, and fabrication, misrepresentation of evidence. The defendants moved for summary judgment, which was granted and denied in part allowing the excessive force claim against defendant Welch in his individual capacity, the false arrest claim against the individual defendants in their individual capacities, and the due process claim arising from defendant Landrum's alleged fabrication of evidence, as asserted against Landrum in his individual capacity as well. Though the defendants asked for this summary judgment, they have now filed an appeal against it, and the latest information is in order staying the case in light of the pending appeal. Qualified immunity is playing a huge role in this. The case is now in the hands of the Fifth Circuit, and as soon as they appeal on the defendant's interlocutory appeal, I will be the first to let you know the results. As always, thanks for watching. If you have a video you'd like to submit for review, use the link in the description or pinned comment. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell notification for future content, and remember to like, share, and comment down below of what you think of this interaction. It really helps the channel. If you enjoy our content, try our other channels, Blacklist Limited for criminal psychology content and The Odd Side for paranormal videos. Shirts and other merchandise are available at the Teespring store. Memberships start at just a buck if you'd like to help further support the channel and get a slick lack logo next to your name. I look forward to seeing you in the next video. All links are down below.